Okay, let's take a look at the black and white photo presentation assignment. What you have in front of you is a view of that black and white presentation assignment. Now in this assignment, I have an example for you to go off of. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pictures that you took last week, those are the ones we took outside, and you're gonna use three of those pictures. And the three pictures I want you to look for is one that shows contrast. That's the light against the dark. One that shows texture. That shows kind of like a feeling of like bumpy or rough, something like that. And then another one is abstract. That's where you see something from a different angle or from close up. It may not look clear on what it is, but it's something like this is a person's knuckles here, like grandpa's knuckles. Uh, it's abstract because it's kind of a close-up, so you can't really see it, but you see the wrinkles on the hand there, um, kind of an abstract look. Here's some pictures that I took. This is contrast for me. This was the dark clouds in the sky. This is the dark trees going against the lighter sky. This is a texture picture here of the fire hydrant. You can see the paint textured on there. And then this one is an abstract on the right. That's one that I took of the back of a bus. So what you're gonna do is, there's a video that'll be on the slide three, and then your slides will be here. Please be careful that you're not messing up somebody else's slides because everybody has access to this. You have to be careful that you're not gonna goof around and please don't purposefully try to mess somebody up or try to be funny or I'll just flunk you on this one for real because that's being really mean. So please don't do that because you will flunk this. And this is a 100 point assignment. So that'd be a bummer for you big time if you did that. So this is a way that you can take yours and then the picture that you took last week, you're going to drag and drop that right on in. Now, you're probably wondering, how do I get it to black and white? Well, what you'll do is you'll go to our Pixel LR editor. You'll click on Pixel LR. <clears throat> and then you'll add in a picture. And so maybe I'm going to add in a picture of the moon. Here's a nice lunar eclipse, which is kind of cool looking. Once you've opened your picture, like you've done a million times, it's really easy. Left-hand side, just click the Adjust Filter. Go up to B&W, which is black and white. As soon as you tap it, boom, that filter's on. And really, you just have to save it at that point. Put your name on it, and that's good. If you want to add more edits to it, of course you can. You can do all sorts of retouching up and things like that. That's the fun part about having this editor, is you're able to do that. So you can go as far as you want on this, for sure. But again. Once you're done and you save it, then you can drag and drop it right out of your folder, right on to your screen. One picture for contrast, one for texture, and one for abstract. Mr. Jensen, what if I don't have enough pictures? Or what if I'm struggling? If the worst case scenario, you can't find something, you can borrow a picture off of Google. But please try to include at least one to two of your own pictures. Don't just spot three pictures on from Google because that's just not as fun for for me to look at. It's just a bunch of Google pictures that you pulled off. Eh, not exi exactly exciting. I like to see ones that you guys take from your perspective. Alrighty, hopefully this works out for you guys. I'm excited to see this come about.